Welcome back, y'all. Episode six of the Kingdom. Mm-hmm. Episode six. I wasn't here last time because me and Karina were having a baby. Well, Karina was having <laughs> well, a baby. Yeah, I, was say. <laughs> I was there with her, and um, and yeah, yeah. Now I'm here. I'm back. But we got to definitely talk about that. Of in the course, because, yeah. Uh, that's something huge. <laughs> yeah, <for laughs> you know. Sure, yeah. Well, um, welcome back, y'all. Welcome back. Yeah, I mean, it was it was intense. You know, I'm gonna let Karina uh, like explain most of the story, but um. Baby's here. Mm-hmm. She's healthy. She's thriving. Yeah. And, you know, uh, we got to meet her. What's funny, we got to meet her right after we finished the episode. Oh, last yeah, week. yeah. So you guys showed up, and we were even like, no way are they going to still type of yeah. film. Like, it'll be like, no, too much on y'all. Obviously. Like, one of those like dramatic entrances, you know, like, oh, wow, Curtin's here. Like, yeah, you know, to finish off the show. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and that's the thing. I think you guys came in, and Maya and Elizabeth were like finishing up pretty much yeah and they were know? taking back yeah like wow yeah. she actually is here yeah yeah. So, yeah we walked in on uh well well Karina walked in with the baby on Karina mm-hmm. and myra i mean <laughs> <laughs> on myra and elizabeth, elizabeth filming the show and mm-hmm. yeah i mean it was fun you know karina had a had a whole experience you know giving birth yeah but um way faster than mia oh was it yeah with mia it took three days with this one it took a few hours oh yeah damn yeah, I mean, ter- uh, to the point where, like, Karina, like, they didn't even need to be induced. Yeah. But that's... Like, that they were trying to give her medication, oh. and then, like, turns out that she didn't need it, after all, because she was already opening up by okay. herself, yeah. Okay, but, okay, let's take it a little bit back, yeah. because the night we were together, we were together for oh, yeah, we're my son's yeah. birthday, Briancito, mm-hmm. and that night, that's when you guys took off to the hospital. yeah. And that's funny because Karina was, you know, she was very chill about it. But in the back of her head, she told me that she was like, damn, we should leave already soon because well, even she was I having feel, back pain already. Well, that's why even I feel us, we were just like, like, y'all don't have to be here. You know, yeah. like, I don't know. Like, I just know. <laughs> no, yeah. And it was so all much. Karina because I kept telling her too, like, you know, whenever you're ready to go, let's mm-hmm. do it. You know, she was like, no, I'm so fine. It's kind of thing she really wanted pozole because last time, <laughs> obviously, like, once you get there with her bowl because <laughs> when she gets there I, like they don't let you they eat anymore eat yeah so so she was like no i gotta eat pozole first i wonder if the pozole helped the baby come out probably it's calito <laughs> <laughs> it was nice and hot nice and warm right but yeah it, like turns up yeah we showed up and she was already uh dilated she was already four centimeters see that's yeah makes it easier on her no yeah yeah because uh because she was telling me that like like to get even those first four centimeters open like it takes a lot for the body and then, and then for her to show up and she's already four centimeters, like it, like it already started. Yeah. So it was kind of good that we went and, and we didn't wait till the next morning. Cause I feel like that, that night something would have happened. Oh yeah. Yeah. If anything, it would have been, honestly, it, it just wouldn't been the same because no, you yeah. guys would have been here. Yeah. And then at night something happened and then it would just be like, go to the nearest hospital. Yeah. Th- yeah. We would not you know? make it to our, to our doctor. Yeah. And that doctor, he's like a specific doctor. Yeah. Like, watches you guys. Yeah. We went to the same one and yeah. he, like, he, we go see him every week type of thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And then like, he's not around the corner. It's, it's all the way in LA, like yeah. deep LA. Yeah. So it was a drive too. Well, that's why to get there like in freaking like an hour and a half or something. Yeah. And imagine like, her being like 10 centimeter open there. No, yeah. <laughs> the whole way over there, like <laughs> drive. Like, no, right, it's yeah. not going to happen. Even if it was in the middle of the night, I know middle of the night, like not that many people are on the freeway. But still, but though, like the, like the anticipation, so you know, like, come on, we got to get there. Come on. Yeah. 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 Especially something like that, you just need to rush to the nearest yeah. hospital. Yeah. Like it's way better to get there, like with time and early than, than yeah. late, you know, because. Yeah. Well, dude, when I was born, um, my mom in the car, she was like kind of like lifting herself because like my head was oh. already coming out. Oh, yeah. She was telling us. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that same day she was. Yeah. She was mentioning oh, yeah. it. <laughs> well, yeah. And but that was going to happen if we would have waited. <laughs> yeah. And that's why when my mom got to the hospital, they were like, oh, we'll get you a wheelchair. And my mom's like, no, like, nah, give me a doctor. <laughs> give me a doctor. <laughs> and they're like, don't worry, man, blah, blah. And then, like, she lifted, like, oh my God, like, you see the head and, like, doctor, yeah. like, that, like, type of thing. And here I am. And boom. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because like, you were the second child, how could your mm-hmm. brother? Yeah. So, like, they say with the, che- uh, with the second, second child, child like, like you open up faster and everything. Yeah. And it's true because, yeah. And I think I just have a bigger noggin. It was <laughs> pushing it away <laughs> through. <laughs> like, I'm coming, Bob. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, guys. Oh, so before we start, we you know, we got to start with our drinks. Yes. Let's do the. And this time, we, once again, we didn't bring beer. Yeah, we didn't get beer. <laughs> so uh, so we got something else. Yeah. 
Got some Jack. Got good old Jack. And then these little, if y'all y'all could kind of see that in there, it's one of those like little cylinder. Yeah, those those fancy um ice Icicles. ice balls. Yeah. Yeah, there you go, ice balls. Like it's pretty cool. Oh, shit. Ooh. All right. Nice. This is cool. I was like, it, it's a little loud right now, but once once the liquor gets in there, once it's in there, a little uh, silent. Yeah. Uh, like we're craving a little bit, um, just straight whiskey. Damn, the rocks. <laughs> well, I don't know. You know, yeah, you know what the yeah the ice takes a lot of volume <clears> in there, <throat> so let's mm-hmm. fill it up. Well, there you go. Cheers, brother, and congrats Cheers. to you and Karina. Thank you, thank you. Mm-hmm. <sighs> oh yeah, that's good. Ooh, <laughs> fire. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? There's certain liquors like you could take straight. And then there's some where I'm like, mm. I can't do oh, that. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. I, and, I was, or they got to be really cold, you know, like, so you could, like, at least take mm-hmm. it in. Like this right now with that ice ball, it, mm-hmm. it chilled down. It well, I think you even had the jack in it, the fridge, it, right? It was in the freezer, too. So, see, I feel yeah. that that just made it, like, yeah. mm, delicious. Kind of going back. Yeah. Your experience of the whole birth thing. Because, obviously, for the women, and I'm sure Karina's going to cover that. Mm-hmm. But for us guys, like, there's always that, like, Funny joke where it's like, oh, but what about the guy on the uncomfortable couch and all that? <laughs> yeah. And that's funny. Yeah, I get that. That's funny. Yeah. But just as you, like how you even saying that day, you were just like, you know, she needs to go. Yeah. But yeah. like, it's up to her. Yeah. And I thing. see her in pain too. I'm like, mm, yeah. I see right? you over there, but right. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. Like, so how was it for you just having to like, okay, like you kind of keep on track of like uh, how you were kind of saying you see her, yeah. but you kind of keep on track of your woman of just like okay yeah, how's yeah. she doing right now like constantly checking up on her yeah. like and i'm sure even that day that day you're like hey like should we go now hey yeah, should yeah. we go now like you know just like constantly asking it so how was that for you um i mean honestly like you feel like in a way helpless like damn like i wish i could help you more but i can't do anything you know yeah. like like you're the one <laughs> that has to have the baby i'm sorry <laughs> Like, you're like, like you know it's just you know that's how god created it like yeah. you, you have to have the baby i'm sorry and um but you know like the whole time yeah i was in the edge like whenever you're ready Karen, let me know you know yeah. like if you need help with anything i'm here you know i got you but like you can only like help them so to much. a certain like extent yeah yeah you can't do but anything. you know what that's another good thing too because sadly uh and with all due respect sometimes women just go by themselves yeah and that's a yeah. lot no, you know yeah. and it 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 is great to have another partner mm-hmm. there with you through the whole oh, yeah, thing, you know, yeah. because even like doctor appointments and all that, mm-hmm. like everything, I, I know you guys go together. Yeah, like, yeah. Same thing with me and Mary. Mm-hmm. Like we would always go together. Yeah. So going through that whole experience with her is just no, also yeah. a blessing. Definitely. Yeah. As Huge much blessing. as we can't be there, like fully, like understanding, like, understanding, like every the, little pain the or pains and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. like, I'll try to be, do like, let me know what you need. You know, yeah, like, yeah, I, I'll, I get I'll, you. Yeah. I'll move like whatever it is. Yeah, like even though we can have the pains for them, like you know, like we're very fortunate, and blessed to be able to, you know, uh, like accompany them for all mm-hmm. the, all the doctor appointments, even like during birth. Because I understand there's some like moms out there, obviously with their husband, but but they have to work, you know, so they can't mm-hmm. be there like to have the baby. Yeah. Like when I was born, uh, my dad was at work, so it was just my mom by herself. Yeah, and especially because of that, sometimes like. It, they it comes out of nowhere it's like yeah. i gotta go no, now yeah. and the uh-huh. husband yeah water breaks oh i mean yep. i'm i'm at work where i just got here and then like they're not gonna let me leave yeah but yeah but That's yeah crazy. we're very fortunate to be there um it was it was definitely like a roller coaster and mm. it, it was beautiful at the same time you know seeing my <laughs> yeah well Karina giving birth to our What's second crazy? daughter I, I, the same thing i feel with us with noah it, how you said it's a roller coaster you know like yeah. everything's going you know on what's boom, gonna boom. happen yeah and then there's this, that like quick little silent moment when the baby's out and like, like yeah whoa like everything gets blocked out and it's just like the baby yeah you yeah. know and yeah. it's just a beautiful well, that's how you mentioned that because like obviously like during the whole contraction like oh you know colonel was in pain screaming and stuff but during the actual labor when she was pushing like there was moments of silence like because um because they tell her for like for every time she gets a, a contraction to push okay. so she would push for like uh like three times mm-hmm. for every uh for every contraction but once like it went away like sh- like she had to pause to get another one so so from that contraction to the next it was like a little like pause in between mm. and yeah we're just talking to a doctor and stuff like so what's up you know like even Curtin was calm <laughs> she was even saying that uh that was good 
that we the contraction pains <laughs> were were actually even worse than the actual like uh, giving birth. It's crazy. Oh, okay. Yeah, like we're having conversation with the doctor, and we even found out that she was a twin. <clears throat> And mm. one night, oh, yeah. <laughs> on chill, right? Man? On chill, yeah. You're all on your phone. And then she was like, all right, you know, it's coming up again. And then, boom, she started You're pushing You're pulling again. up to the room. We're going to connect my Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny because they told me, like, all right, you know, this is your couch. You're going to sleep the whole night. And I didn't even get the chance to sleep there. Oh. Because I like, were out the Are you sure? I saw Karina post a oh, video no. of you. <laughs> but that was the... <laughs> Roncando and on. <laughs> That was a recovery room. Oh, oh. It was an actual couch, but the but the actual labor room, yeah, it yeah. was like a two seater, yeah. and it extended, mm, okay. so you could lay down. So you pushed her off, and you're like, "Watch out!" <laughs> <laughs> no, well, okay, it's funny this now that you're a father of two baby girls. You know, yeah. growing up, did you ever feel like you were like going to be a father or have uh, honestly kids at all type of thing? No, like. Yeah, you know, obviously growing up, like you always like wonder, like, am I gonna have kids? If mm. I if I am, when? At what age? With who? Blah blah blah. Yeah. But yeah, like I never like thought I was gonna be a father of two girls, you know. Mm -hmm. And 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 now I am. Well, and, and it's funny because Myra asked me that the other day, and it was like, oh, like, did you ever see your life type of like this? And I was mm -hmm. like, no, like, no, yeah, not it's at hard all, to picture you know? when you're young. Yeah, it's hard to picture it. Well, yes and no because I feel Myra. When she was a little kid, that's what she says. Like she oh, was always okay. like holding little babies mm, or okay. things like that, you know. And I feel us, we were just like, I want to go play tag. I want to get on. You Xbox know what's funny? Or, yeah, yeah. Because growing up, like boys, like they don't like we only really get thrown that like mm -hmm. babies at us. Mm -mm. But like Mia, like she like obviously when we go to the girl section at at the toy aisle, mm -hmm. there's a bunch of babies. Like you know, like baby lives, like. Babies yeah. that cried, you gotta change their diapers, feed them. Yeah, so like there's a bunch of like stuff that prepares like little girls yeah. who have babies. Like it's crazy. Like they're just naturally like nurturers. Yeah. And I feel for us, it was just kind of like throwing Boy out of the just like <laughs> 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 Yeah. Tonka and so, like, yeah, literally. Again, Hot Wheels. Hot, you know? Yeah. So it was just so different. It's different, yeah, yeah. Big time. Yeah. But congrats, y'all. Oh, That's thank just you. Thank you. a blessing. Congrats again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking about back in the day, what are some things that you remember from back in the day? Because kind of before the podcast, we were kind of talking about yeah, this. okay, yeah, like LimeWire. Oh, okay, yeah. We've talked about like E Bombs World. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because back then, like, we had to be like smart to get like stuff for free. You know what I mean? Like nowadays, like are you talking about the, your day with the hoodie and the pencil. <laughs> <laughs> free education. A different day. <laughs> No, like, uh, like if you wanted like a free album, like you would go to LimeWire and you download the whole album. Yeah, like you would figure it out, like or Kazam, you know, like you, like you would figure it out, and like you would figure out how to burn them to CDs and stuff like that. Like it well, was crazy. Well, even at that, okay. Nowadays, if you need to go to a certain restaurant, it's so easy to just find the name of it. Mm -hmm. It'll pop out like five different yeah. restaurants. Which one's the closest? Which one's the best turn, reviews? Exit, you know everything. Yeah. Boom. Back in the day, you had. Map quest, or you just had to know. Yeah, you know, or from like like other people's experiences. Like, oh, this place is good. Check it out. You know. Oh, that too. Like ratings on places. Like yeah, you'll see it. Oh, four point five. Then yeah. one place mm -hmm. three points. I was like, mm, nah. yeah, like it looks good from the outside, but you see the ratings. Like oh, one point five stars. Like mm -hmm. nah. <laughs> yeah. Skip on that one. That place more is gonna close down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, they got so rats. Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> right. Ratatouille cooking up in there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the play was called um, Linguini's. Linguini, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I want to eat a linguini. <laughs> I mean, that should look good. I can't even say that. Linguinis. Every time I see that movie, like I crave that plate for some reason. I don't know why. Well, have you seen that plate? I think the plate like is called life. Too. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's kind of like stacked potato chips in a way, but they're kind of like yeah. It's like veggie. It's like a yeah a little vegan plate or something like that. I don't know, but it looks really good. How like this? Like something about the sauce makes it look like delicious. Mm -hmm. Like, have you ever had those salads where it has like specific dressings on top? Mm -hmm. It's way better than just like ranch. I'm like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or like sometimes I have actual like like pieces of noodles inside, or like mm -hmm. or, like almonds or something like that. Like it makes it way better. Ra raisins in a raisin salad mm -hmm. is fire. Yeah. <laughs> Going way off topic. It doesn't though, look but good, damn. but try it out. Yes. Yeah. Dude, it's delicious. I, honestly, I like food. Like, 
I oh, like yeah. experiencing new food. Yeah. We got to take to this new spot we found. And Which oh one? my God. Oh, you know what? I think I've seen you guys snap about it. Where has chilaquiles? Yes. And that burrito looked really good. Bro. I, you, I know you love breakfast burritos. I was about to say, I love breakfast <laughs> burritos. Yes. My, because we've talked about shit. the one from uh, Tom's <laughs> Farm or Larry's. Tom's no, oh, Larry's. Well, yes, Larry started it out for me. Down mm, yeah, but that down. was like my number one. Hey, me because too. We used to live right there. Yes, Larry's but breakfast after, was top tier, mm-hmm. <laughs> dude. With that sauce, Ooh, yeah, that homemade oh. like like hot sauce they did. Mm-hmm. It was like a cross between ketchup and like I don't know the fuck they added, but it was I don't really know. good. <laughs> but it was definitely a mix between ketchup and something else. Something else, huh? Yeah, it was delicious. That shit made it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh man, it sucks that they had to close down, but right, it sucks. Yeah, but Tom's is really good too. The breakfast burrito there. Mm-hmm. And I and also have it from Farmer Boys now because like That's it kind of reminds me of it, but not really because like yeah. like it's good, but like it has no flavor. Just you know what I mean? Triple the price. Though. Yeah, pretty. Yeah, <laughs> that's the only thing that's. Uh, and the hot sauce is it's like the packet ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was more natural. Yeah, like that one's homemade. like homemade. You know, mm-hmm. mom and pops yeah. made the sauce in the back. Right, who he made it? <laughs> he did. <laughs> I wouldn't care. Maybe that's it was so it delish. I would not care. Maybe that's why he closed it down. So <laughs> the rats are making it. I Bring mean, that home. I mean, I know how to cook though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was delicious, bro. Yeah, the best. Honestly, like, yeah, like there's something like we pass by main career night and we miss it. Like, ah, oh, Larry's. No, it's not here because now it's called Hercules. Yeah, it is it's called Hercules. Yeah, yeah but I still need to try it out. Yeah, I've I've already went, but it's not the same. Oh yeah, mm, it sucks. sucks. Not that it sucks, but it just sucks that it's it, not Larry's. It's not the same. It's different. Yeah. Huh? Like it's good. It's just not the same. No, yeah, Larry's. I don't know something about Larry's. It's just like you know, childhood, and then like it just bombed too, or it was bomb. What are some spots? Because I know you're from Pomona too. Where like that you remember? Okay, in Pomona. Okay, um, I know Tacos Jalisco. Oh, Tacos Jalisco is pretty sorry. bomb. Yeah, yeah on that corner. Yeah, the corner. Yeah, yeah by like downtown Pomona. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we used to walk there sometimes to like. Oh, really? Yeah, like after a night out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well dude okay right there on second uh, like on state street and second uh, yeah like that was, that place was on uh-huh the time, okay you know glass house right oh there, yeah yeah right yeah I, that's funny cause i remember like we used to talk about it and we used to go play pool at the same place yes yeah that's funny yeah. right there <laughs> like if you go to the glass house he he used to live there huh like the guy yeah yeah yeah, yeah. dude like that whole place you could it was just like run down type yeah, of thing back but then, it was yeah. just like Good, yeah, back then there was no clubs, just like that pool, like table mm-hmm. house, and that's all you needed, yeah. though. Yeah, I remember that characters. I used to when mm-hmm. I was like in punk, I I used to like wear stud. Dolls, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dolls, oh, and then that hookah bar, the um sinners. Oh yeah, sinners. Oh, right there. by sinners, there's characters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was, yeah. Characters. I know cool. where. Yeah. Yeah, but there was monkeys to go, and I used to get all my shit there. Oh, okay. Yeah, but that was a while back. No, but um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so another one, El El, El Ostion. It's like a Manisco's place. That blue place? Yeah, blue Ooh, place. Yeah. That's where I used to get um oysters. Oh, they yeah. Do yeah, like yeah. a twelve pack of oysters. Yeah. And then like a six pack of beers. They're bomb, huh? Yeah, they're they're really good, yeah. Delicious. <laughs> and then besides that, I know my brother used to take us to some place called um Jarritos. Jarritos? It's like on town more north side of Pomona. Oh, I don't know. That yeah. One. I I feel like you kinda lived close to it before. I'm not sure. It's like in the north of Pomona. Where my mom's at now? Kind of, yeah, kind of by like like Laverne, area, like before, like you get to Laverne, but it's still Pomona. Oh, in that little shopping center. Yeah, it's like I know what you're exactly yeah. you're talking about. They it's have like, some fire burritos. Yeah, really good here. Right <laughs> I didn't know the name, but yeah, now they yeah, yeah, I know exactly. Yeah, right there. Yeah. It's on the corner too. Yeah, at the corner. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And then, oh, um, have you ever tried Donahue's? Like oh, fried chicken? Yes, yes, the best chicken, Ooh, bro. The best. But you get there, it's gonna be a wow. It's gonna be a wait, but. Yeah. Definitely worth the wait. Mm-hmm. Best delicious, right and that's right on like a main street. Yeah, on Gary. I think it's on Gary. Yeah, mm-hmm. on Gary. Ooh, bro, really that good. Yeah. Chicken is fire. Yes. Like we've talked about chicken. Even yesterday, I was on TikTok Live, and someone was like mentioning KFC churches. Oh, okay, like you know, like those those type of fried chicken. Are, yeah, yeah. But if you want some real delicious fried chicken, yeah, mom and pops like type of fried chicken. Try Donahue's. Yeah, really good. Definitely. Just recently. You've seen this fire, right? Mm, oh, a dude! Lot. Everywhere, even before we got here, like you could just see this whole cloud everywhere. Yeah, the whole city. No, because we had a photo shoot today. You know, uh, yeah, for our baby girl, and um, it was more towards a uh, Fontana, and and there's even flowers. Uh, <laughs> there's flowers over there. Nope. <laughs> Are they burning? Well, well not anymore. 
<laughs> there was. Thank God. Yeah. Um, no, there's a fire like in like Mount Bondi area, mm-hmm. and then more towards like um, towards the casino, the San yeah. Manuel or yeah. or the Yamava now. Yeah. Yeah. There's fires everywhere, dude. Well, that's why us driving this way, like you could see, it's like a whole almost like we're, a whole 180. We're like of, in the middle of like all the fires. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, and like the air quality, run, like we see like your weather map. Mm-hmm. It says like air quality terrible, bro. like yeah. the worst. Yeah, so don't go outside right now, y'all. Well, even um, yesterday, because uh, I forgot what was it, but the Google Home, uh-huh. it announced like, oh yeah, air quality bad. You like, got alert, huh? Yeah, yeah. And my was like, like I ain't going out with mm-hmm. the Noah type of thing. And I was oh, like, yeah. cool. Like I'll go to the store and grab stuff type yeah, of yeah. thing, you know. And just that, like, just going outside knowing that. There's going to be ash and everything, like, oh, breathing yeah. in. Mm-hmm. And if anything, I even Googled it. It's good to have the AC running all day, right? Oh, now. yeah, because it because filters it. Filters it. it. Yeah. yeah. Like, as much as you have the doors closed or windows closed and all that, mm-hmm. there's still those little gaps. It could seep through. Yeah, yeah that is going to seep through. Yeah. Kind of like those, like, annoying roaches or spiders that just seep through mm-hmm. little cracks, you know? For real. <laughs> like, it's just like, how'd you get in? Literally, yeah. <laughs> you weren't invited. <laughs> so now it's the smoke and ashes. Like, it's why are you there. in my house? <laughs> You're supposed to be outside. Mm-hmm. So that, you know, so those little bit are going to be coming in. So having the AC running mm-hmm. throughout the day, even if it's like barely a little bit, just mm-hmm. as long as it's running. Yeah. It's going to clear out that air. And like it filters I recently cleaned out my filters. I would suggest y'all do this. Oh, <laughs> no. And we did recently. Yeah. Oh, but okay. like, um, it's suggested to change it like every six months. Yeah, because they uh because they uh like three to it, six months depending yeah. on how much you use it. Because yeah. like it accumulates a lot of dust to a point where like it even fucks up your AC unit. Well, the, like it, it's it, like it starts overworking. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, it becomes overworking where like it can't suck in like the right amount of air. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it doesn't suck like you. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, okay, totally something different. Did you see Nicado Avocado? Oh yes, I did, dude. Oh he my god! Wait. He, it was a whole social experiment he was doing. Yeah. I He said for six months, huh? Six months, yeah. Okay, six months. If he, he lost 250 pounds. In six months. That's insane. Do you believe it? Like, I oh. mean, do you believe... <laughs> I, I mean, obviously, he lost the weight, but, like, do you believe, like, he lost it naturally? Or do you think he did, like, some type of, like... For six months, so he had to do so. something. Well, even, dude, it, it, if you look at the comments when he posted, people are yeah. like, oh, was it? Exempic final boss. Oh, or, <laughs> you know, just like... <laughs> yeah like done random shit That's but what, yeah i i definitely feel he obviously made not obviously but i feel like he had to do something because six yeah. months that's really quick he might have like you know like worked out but he definitely like had help from a little boosty probably yeah yeah but over that i just feel just that because he was saying like oh just the other day you guys were calling me this and that and now look at me yeah. today i was like whoa okay. you know it was just crazy so he kind of did it to like uh like pretty much it's the experiment. haters yeah in a way too you know yeah i oh, dude which is you know props to him like you know like no matter how he did it like you know like he lost a lot of weight you know yeah and if anything that's just like you know like, honestly yeah kudos to you i mean i mean Vandy, like, he just extended his life mm-hmm. you know so that, you know yeah. so that's great you know yeah definitely really good yeah it, it my thing it was just like okay because i used to watch him pretty often yeah i i wasn't like a super no he, he yeah he was like one of those og youtubers like i yeah. feel like he kind of like started Mukbangs in a way. Yeah, yeah definitely. He's yeah. like definitely. I know like people an OG call mukbanger. Me a mukbang king. No, he's a mukbang king. Yeah, no, yeah. Like he goes off on the spicy noodles oh, and everything. He could talk even for his days too. <laughs> noodle. His, have you seen his noodle bird? No, no. Okay, you don't watch him like I do. No, but no, okay. I know. Yeah. Uh, you Before know how- we used to watch him more, uh, me and Karina back in like in 2017, 18. Okay, but not recently though. I haven't watched him recently. Got you. Okay, so really quickly. Yeah, let me take a sip. Ah, delicious. All right. <laughs> so Nicado Avocado, Nicado Avocado, he started off doing YouTube, doing like a whole vegan mukbang kind mm-hmm. of thing, you know? And then after that, he slowly transitioned into just eating anything uh, kind of thing, like especially he, noodles. But he would eat a lot, huh? He would he would have this whole he table would. in front of him. And But you know what? That I think that's just a mukbang thing. Because even when I do like little videos... I know I'm going to order a little extra. Yeah. And if I finish it, I finish it. And if I don't, I don't. Well, usually I finish it. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, like, he started off as a vegan. Yeah. Mukbang. And then it just, like, slowly transitioned into I mean, just cause, eating. Because, like, there's only so many vegan recipes you could do, you know? Maybe. 
And slowly from him transitioning to that, where the whole vegan thing, like, you know, a lot of people do vegan to yeah. lose weight or stay healthy yeah. and all that. So he started gaining weight. Like, yeah. You know, like, he I tried, feel like a lot of mug bangers. He started do. packing or, the pounds quick. Yeah. And then it just got to a point where, dude, like, he was just going off. Yeah. And what's funny, because I started watching him. And I started watching him. What's funny, like his transition area. Oh, okay. Where like he was vegan and like doing okay, like, yeah. regular. So when he had original, his little noodle. Because okay, I yeah. think the first bird sadly passed away. Mm. But he has another bird, I think. He has another one now? Yeah, because he went on vacation and that bird passed. Yeah, I know he like he lived in South America for a while, huh? Well, that's where he met his uh, boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. Or, what's his name? I forgot his name. Orlando or Lando? Mm hmm. Orland? I forgot. But either way. So, and him and his boyfriend both gained good amount of weight. Yeah. And that's the thing where, where he was even just kind of saying like, oh, it, it just brought people's attention to like watch them, you know? Yeah. And oh my God, dude, it's just so crazy seeing him now in that one video where it's like he lost 250 pounds. That's a lot of To weight. where he was. Yeah. But that's the thing. It was a social experiment yeah. that he was supposedly doing where just... How he was even saying just the other day, people were talking shit, you know? Yeah, yeah. And for six months, I, he was just kind of uploading older videos. Yeah, yeah. So nobody could know behind the scenes he was, what was going on doing something with, with those to six lose months. Weight. Yeah. I wonder how his boyfriend looked because I think he just showed himself. Okay. Yeah. You and know what? in the video, I just saw him. Yeah. I didn't see like anyone else. Yeah. But his boyfriend was a little smaller than him. Okay. But, his, dude, have you ever seen the newest videos of him and his boyfriend? Like, no, were, I haven't. Like, they were just toxic. But I know he would, like, yeah, he would, like, because obviously, like, I would see him, I would see him in, it was for in a lot of memes. Well, and, yeah. And he would and, lose it, like, while eating and, like, put the noodles over his face. He was just going yeah, crazy at the same yeah. time. I, th I think that it just turned, like, it, I'm telling you, I used to watch him a good amount. And then when he started doing that, I, I just felt like you're just doing this for the views. Yeah. You know, with all due respect, I just felt like it's not my thing anymore. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like he kind of lost himself. Now, knowing it was a social experiment, I was like, damn, you got a lot of people into your, yeah. your shit. Because yeah. that's the thing. And like smart, he was doing this he just on him. to get people like mm -hmm. keep talking shit. Like how they say good or bad publicity is good publicity. Yeah. And also how because they as say, long um, as they keep talk, talking yeah. about you. You're yeah, gonna be no, the hot topic. Definitely, yeah, and also you know, like um, to like to grow in silence, mm -hmm. and then like obviously like boom, you know, one, what the hell? Like, how do you do that? Yeah, that's how I did it, dude. But I, he, I'm waiting for him to come out with his whole like, this is what I did because I know he, like, even in his video, he was doing this little like jumping thing that he does, and when he was his bigger self, he was doing that too. And I don't think that will make him drop 250 pounds. No, oh, yeah. But like how you said, he had some sort of help, but yet he was still doing something. You yeah, get me? Yeah. And especially him starting off like as a vegan person, he could definitely be like, I know what to do for That's myself. That's true, yeah. To better myself, yeah. you know? And maybe he did that. I don't know. Yeah, cause I get, like, because it takes a lot to, to actually like vegan food too. Because like, I've tried some dishes like, mmm. That's but that's the me. thing. Maybe he has just that like mindset where he's like, yeah. I was doing this before. I could cold, like do it cold turkey. Type yeah, like of thing. he likes to taste the vegan food. So that's good. And that's pretty <laughs> a plus, you know, so yeah. he could like stick to vegan food only. I can't do it. No, me neither. I, no. I remember I've tried it like where we've done like, oh, let me just see how it is. I'm like, I, I yeah. don't know. I don't know. You feel like, yeah, like you don't feel satisfied. Yeah. Like, well, for us, you know, like, I, like, I need that meat, like, you know, personally, me, myself. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I, I, I don't, I need my burger. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Though with cheeseburger. Sheesh. Yeah. It's crazy, bro. But congrats yeah, to him. Congrats However, to he him. did it, you Cheers know, to him. Yeah. He did it. Go off, bro. He did, he did, it, did it. it. Did that shit. Oh, you know what? Should we do the spin? Oh, you know what? Before yeah. we go any further, I don't yeah, know how it's been, do but. It. I feel yeah. last time I spinned it and that's when I got the, the spicy chat. Wait, no, actually, you spinned it and it was a 20 push ups. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I'll spin it again. But okay. last time I spinned it, it was a spicy you thing. Spin it on that damn shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I am right, going to please. walk away. You're gonna have to All finish right. this podcast All yourself. Right. Hopefully, I don't. I don't get the chip. Here we go. Oh man, oh, I man. I don't even want to look. You let me know. Let me know. It's 
Beer bong. Oh, okay. We don't even have beer. We don't have beer, huh? No. Well, way. let's do a shot. All right. <laughs> I'm down for a shot. All right, let's do it. We'll do an actual shot here. You want to hold this? Yeah, buddy. You want to do the same one? The, the whiskey? Yeah, that's cool. Oh, but I was saying, uh, last time we were talking about small businesses, and I want to bring something out right now that was from a small business. But let's take these shots real let's quick. Take this shot real quick. Let me see a cup. Yeah. Ooh. Jeez, we love a professional. Right? I see bartending with Luis for a while. Oh, true, huh? Luis, oh, my God. Karina's oh, and Myers brother. Bay. Yeah. I mean, I was a shitty bartender, but then <laughs> so is this a shot and this the chaser? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> so much for a chaser, right? All right. Cheers, Cheers to episode six. Episode six. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> That's warm. That was it's a warm. It's shot. been sitting out for a minute. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, like I was saying, small businesses. I want to bring out something right now from a small business. Okay. And I'm going to kind of explain it because this was brought up. If you guys remember, what was it? Valentine's or anniversary? Well, Myra's thing. I, I left the house to go grab something for her. Okay. Oh, okay. I think it was Valentine's. I think so. Yeah. And then she was like <laughs> not having it. And I look with this small business. I remember talking to them and I was like, I, I'm one, I want to do like a video <coughs> for you guys. Like, like I want to record and like, you know, everything was going yeah. great. I'm getting little footage and all that. And then for like a TikTok, it just didn't end up great because, you know, that the night didn't end well. <laughs> the end result was not. Yeah. Not so I was just like, be. I didn't get that end footage. So I just, I, I, I couldn't. So you're going to get it with me. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish, but... <laughs> they put my wig on real quick. <laughs> so, Myra, no shit. <laughs> All fake, super fake wig. No, no so, yeah, I, I just... That, that you know, I, I couldn't finish the video and everything. And I felt like I just left it mm-hmm. at that. And where I was like, I couldn't... Like, cool. Yeah. I get it. Like, I left that pause. Yeah. Like, as much as... I, I still got everything like gifted yeah. to her and yeah, yeah. they got paid whatever like it, it was just to me it was just like I still wanted to do yeah. that because like I said I like small businesses yeah. like it's great to you know yeah, no, get your name yeah. out there and I felt like I wanted to do that but I I, I failed. didn't get the chance yeah, yeah to finish it so I want to show you guys what it was because I don't think we ever showed it because that day everything I'm telling you shit hit the fan yeah yeah and boom. So Show hold on. real quick. Yeah. <laughs> he has been waiting for months. He's about to reveal it. So this is what the guy Jeez. made. Let me see. It's handcrafted. And then he does like um not heat pressing. Oh, okay. but like, yeah, like the burning. Yeah, the, he, burning, the burning. So if y'all kind of see that, I'm trying to get not I the glare. It. Nice. But it says always and forever and has me, Myra, Noah, and Brian Zito. And then it has like little seashells. And check mm-hmm. this out. Look, hold up. Oh, it lights ooh, up. It has little lights. Ooh, yeah. Nice. Y'all can really see because the lights are probably watching it out. Beautiful. But yes. Okay. So it's me, Chiquitita, engraving. So okay. if you guys want to follow him on Instagram, and he does so many different all things, you know, obviously it's just not this, but this was the item I got. Wow. It's <laughs> nice. It's super nice. It, this is. Yeah, I like it, and it's. I'm gonna it, head him up, <laughs> <laughs> I, dude. And he does so many different other little things. And what's funny, I was even thinking maybe he could do like little oh, things with dope. us, like yeah. maybe little coasters or something. I don't know. A little you know, shot glasses. Mi chiquitita what? Mi chiquita engraving. Mi chiquitita engraving. engraving. Yeah, check him out. Yeah, they know. do. I mean, it's dope with the little light and everything. Right. Oh, nice and that, I'm telling you, he did like the whole little I mean, thing, the like, detail for like the actual like picture of you guys. Mm-hmm. Wow. I, th- that was. And what's funny. Because I get the heart. OK, you know, but but the actual like image. Of no. You guys, yeah. Wow. If you guys. I don't know it if you guys off. could really see inside of there. Hold on. But yeah, if y'all yeah, really look inside, the detail, like you yeah. see this like, yeah, nice and detailed. It's really nice. It's nice. And what's funny, he even said because of that, like he did this, I think, like three or four times. And the other ones he just gave me. 
Like, and I have them in the garage. Like, I, I have my oh, garage. Okay, yeah. I, I, I feel like I'm a hoarder, bro. <laughs> like a I, man cave. Yeah. yeah. In my little man cave area, I have, like, another one like this, oh, but yeah. just on the wall. Oh, just okay. to have, Yeah, you know? yeah. But, That's yeah. That's nice. I mean, I remember I used to have a woodshop class in, like, seventh grade. Same. And I did, like, a Mickey Mouse, but he was very Mickey Mouse. Oh, <laughs> it was Mickey Moose. No? Yeah. No. Okay. I, I had wood shop and we built a little like Hot Wheel. Oh, you did. And okay. At the end of it, you put a CO two tank. Okay. And it like oh, it shoots. It, it had like a little device that punctures the CO two. Yeah. Like, yes. like it oh, shoots it was and it was like yeah. But mine shot too fast and it hit the wall and broke in half. <laughs> <laughs> but it was cool. It was cool. I used to like that class a lot. Like yeah. workshop class, that was yeah. fun, dude. It was. it was really fun, huh? I feel yeah, you know, but then to say, but then at the same time, like, why would you trust little kids with like such like like heavy equipment? That shit is scary. Yeah, but at the same time, it's kind of like building that. Like you're gonna yeah deal with type of equipment like this. Why? Yeah, because I remember like before the class started, like when we like you barely walk in, like like, like the little lesson they like uh, they tell you, mm -hmm. and uh, sure. he would they, tell us that like some kids had lost their finger before. Yeah. Like what? I remember. I, How is shit I, even legal? Then? <laughs> yeah, I remember our wood class uh, teacher. He showed us like a small little video, like a two minute video yeah, yeah. of like accidents and like, but not obviously showing it, but yeah. like oh, okay, before and after, like cartooned and, like, it and sh shit like that. Kinda, yeah. yeah. So it was just like, oh, you could lose a finger because like when you're pushing, like, yeah, like there goes your thumb. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> It's because those blades are sharp and Hell they're going yeah. like and super they're fast. fast so too, yeah. You don't even notice it. Like, oh, there it's it goes. Gone in a second. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's scary. Yeah. So obviously talking about school and what shop, because mm -hmm. that class was really fun. Do you have any secret talents that like you kind of like showed off in school or like peaked in school? No. <laughs> Besides skating, because kind of like you were really good at skating. Yeah. But I don't think that was a talent. Like, <laughs> I mean, it is because I remember once. I mean, I tried skateboarding and I gave up, dude. Like I couldn't do an ollie. I, I was like, ah, oh, screw this shit. <laughs> it's not for me. Yeah, I get you. But other than skateboarding, like yeah, like I feel skate. I really loved skateboarding. I was really into it. But other than skateboarding, dude, like I feel like, or maybe like away just, from school, hmm? like away from school. Like you don't have to be in school. In well, that's why I feel just I was kind of just into sports a lot okay yeah. well because my dad would push us like he got us into two soccer teams and shit oh, okay and i remember he'll take us to the beach you're like i guess dad. yeah i remember he'll take us to the beach and he'll make us run on the beach where like the water hits the sand oh, okay so yeah. it's like slowing you kinda down like that from rocky the moment and the water <laughs> yeah bro and i was like i'm not freaking did you ever alone <laughs> did you, you ever play i have a tiger yeah, he'll play it with his boombox in the in the back <laughs> while he's freaking drinking his water, hey, all yeah, his chilling. beer, his yeah. Coors Light. I, <laughs> I think he did Budweiser. A Budweiser, oh, okay. But dude, I I feel that like he would push us even skateboarding. I remember when we got into skateboarding, he would tell us like, if you jump off of this, I'll buy you a new skateboard. Oh, okay. And me and my brother like what? Like Motivated. you know, just like Hell why yeah. not? Like yeah. you know. Like, we're going to try to jump off it either way. But yeah. if we land, we'll get a board, you yeah. know? And we'll go and would end up not getting a board. Yeah, I remember like, you fall. mentioned how you got sponsored by, like, a skate shop. We got sponsored store. by, like, a little skate shop, yeah. It was me and my brother and a, a homie, uh, Gio, G Giovanni. And we got sponsored by a little skate shop. It was just so, like, the smallest little sponsor kind of thing. That's but we're though. just like, I mean, what? Like, yeah. you know, like to us, it was like, because back then it wasn't heard of, like, what sponsored what? Like, you know, obviously nowadays, like, you hear about it, like, influencer, they got sponsored by this and that. But, like, yeah. But back then it was kind of like, wait, what? You got and, sponsored And for, for us, this? since we we're just in high school, and it was like, how do we get skateboards? And, how, you know, yeah. so it was just like, they were giving us, like, a random free deck or yeah. free something, you know? It's dope. So it, it was cool, but it just, it was such a small little skate shop where like it wasn't like everything you know it was yeah. not like I know oh my mean, god yeah. world shop but or, at the time it was like it was dope though yeah because like you got yeah. free merch from your store and stuff like that mm -hmm. yeah it was cool it was nice That's nice yeah <laughs> at least for us being in high school it was cool yeah what's your talent <laughs> shit <laughs> saying <laughs> nothing I feel, I feel like nothing i mean um i was really good at guitar hero Guitar Hill's dope. Guitar Hill, yeah. I remember I used to go all out because I was expert. So you're good with your fingers. Yeah, really good. Oh, 
I used to hit that <laughs> orange button really good. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah like, yeah, like, I was, like, I was dedicated to that game. Yeah. I used to, like, take my shirt off. Like, let's let's rock out. Damn. Well, yeah. Okay. Wait, oh. are we talking about Guitar Hero still, or what, what are you talking about? Guitar Hero. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I just, I just Guitar had Guitar Hero shirt, bro. unfiltered. I was gonna <laughs> bro. No, yeah, like, I, yeah, I used to love that game. I don't know why. Like, I just, I just fell in love with it. Mm-hmm. And I used to go all out. I used to play expert, like. I beat all the songs, uh, and I I almost beat the hardest song ever. I I got like ninety percent. Oh shit! Yeah, and it was like really fucking hard. Damn, like no, extremely it, it hard. It was hard. Yeah, because the orange one. Yeah, dude, I could not hit that. Like oh, I'll yeah. be like, I would oh, hit it like easily. I don't know. Yeah. It's so hard for me. Yeah, no, yeah, I would it, hit it. I would hit it, but it was like I'm failing a song, but I just want to. You play would it. fail like in the next five seconds. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, and then the crowd starts booing like, wait, <laughs> like you know, yeah, like no, no. He's, it's a little bar going down. <laughs> yeah. Fuck! I got booed off stage. Oh <laughs> no, yeah, I was really good at it. That's that's yeah. I don't know, but well, that's pretty good talent. I'll say this: I remember, and I remember it was me and my brother. We used to love playing Dance Dance Revolution. Oh, okay. And we actually had the little dance pad. You did? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> bro. Hold on. Don't judge me, <laughs> dude. This was like, oh my god! Like this is actually freaking fun. Like this is well, just like, woo! It makes like, sense. Like you, you guys just skate, so like you guys have the footwork. Feet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, dude, it, it was just so funny because one day you used to grab onto the like railing or what? No, no. We had that at home <laughs> on our PlayStation. You could buy like the pad. Oh shit! Okay, kind of like Twister, but like kinda, yeah, but on PlayStation. And one day our homie walks in. <laughs> because th- dude, this homie, I swear he lived like right next to us. Yeah. He would always be at the house. He'll yeah, just yeah. walk in the door. Yeah, yeah. And one day he just walks in and we're playing Dance Dance Revolution. Going up. And he was like, What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> and he started playing with us and we all started getting into it. Yeah. We're like, oh no, no, next level. We got it, dude. Yeah. It was just so much fun. And I remember going to um Santa Monica. Oh, Santa Monica the, Pier? The Pier, yeah. They had it. And I was like, I could play that. You know, like, this yeah. is so much fun type of thing. You would like, see the kid playing, like, I could top him. But that's the thing. No. But when I saw actual people play, I was like, oh, I suck. <laughs> Them doing They're really lips, good, bro. Um, like, 360 spins, all this shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. That was just like, okay, yeah, like I like the game, moment. but I'm not good. You know? Okay. But I- I'll say this. I could be good at Call of Duty, Halo, oh, yeah. Gears, but... Dance, dance, revolution. I mean, because that's like, like you're actually like, like you're moving a lot. Like, yeah, it takes a lot out of you physically. Yeah, there's there's people out there that know how to dance. Oh, yeah, I, I mean, was just like, nice. This is to cool, this but. day when you go to like an arcade like uh, yeah. game place, they, they have championships. They have it. Of dance, dance, and revolution. they're going off. Yeah, it's they're insane. They're really, really good. Oh yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I was not that, <laughs> <laughs> but that was just like it's so funny because. Growing up, it was just like you. You're gonna dance, like you know, just like what, like <laughs> dance so, up, yeah, step up too. What's up? Yeah. So it was just like what, like we just <laughs> found this hidden like game, and it was just like oh talent. God. Okay, mm-hmm. but it was cool. It was yeah, cool. I'm not gonna lie, fun. it was fun, huh? Not Guitar Hill. I remember Guitar Hill and Rock Band. Oh, okay, Dude. Rock Band came out, and that like what the hell? Like the drummer, the singer, yeah, the, uh, what the was bassist, funny, like she, like, my, my uh, homie. They have a band. So for them, that was like super simple. Okay, they tried it. Oh. I remember we would go over, drink, and like they'll play rock band. That show's tight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would go on there and make them fail. Like, my bad, y'all. Oh, no. But it was, it you know, was like fun. I had rock band, but I never really liked it like I did Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero is just iconic because it was just yeah. straight up guitar, just, you know? Yeah, something. Yeah. Fun with it. I remember like they came out with Guitar Hero Metallica. Ooh. That's how I fell out with Metallica. Really? Yeah. Uh, I feel like I was yeah uh, before. I like yeah. Metallica when they're known as Alcoholica. Alcoholica, yeah. I never heard of them like that. Yeah, see, that was back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, really quickly. I know basketball fan. Yes, but well, football was coming up off. next month. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, recently the whole Taylor Swift mm-hmm. and. Uh, her man Taylor, I mean Taylor Swift. <laughs> what's, his, what's his name? Travis, Travis Kelis. Yeah. yeah. Okay. For the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah. So, do you like when there's like a whole Van Wagon p- kind of behind them, just like mm, following okay. the Chiefs now, just because Taylor Swift's with one of the players? Oh, okay. Kind of like, like the camera's always on them. Like the fan cam is always mm-hmm. on her, pretty much. Yeah. 
I mean, honestly, like, I don't really care much for it, but um, I know for, like, other football fans, I'm sure it probably triggers them. Like, why only show them? Like, why only show, like, what's going on with them? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I can see why, I guess. But, but, but like, me, the person, like, it doesn't bug me. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't really follow football like that, honestly. What if it was a certain basketball team that you like? Okay. Um, what if it was the well, Timberwolves? Or- well, I know for a while... Um, what, you know, back in the day when Lamar Odom was dating, I think Kim Kardashian or Chloe. Mm-hmm. Chloe, yeah, yeah, like she was always in the spotlight. Honestly, like, it didn't trigger me, but I'm like, I'm know, over talking, her. Like we're talking about basketball, yeah. you know, we're not, talk, we're not talking about like Kardashian right now. Yeah. I, I see. Okay, because that's how I see it. You know, like at the same time, I don't like whatever go off, but when it gets too excessive, no, like, yeah, dude, get back to the game type of thing. Yeah, yeah, I get that, and especially some. People are super fanatics where they want to watch the game. You know they what it is? They care though? about who's with who. Yeah. They want to watch the game. Yeah. You know what it is? It's because, like, um, I guess, like, someone who's, like, a big-time, like, super, like, uh, football fan. Mm-hmm. And then at the same time, they're also a big-time Taylor Swift fan. So when they see, like, oh, my God, like, she likes, she's with, with some dude that likes my favorite team. I and I run the personal page for that. That's why they just, like, drain it. Like, oh, you know, boom, 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 boom. This post nothing but Taylor Swift all the time. But I could say most, most people football don't like it. fans are not going to be Taylor Swift. No, fans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There might be that 5%, but there's not going to be much of it. Yeah. So for that other 95%, they're, they're going to be like, I don't care if Taylor Show me Swift. football stats or yeah. something about like football my stats, team. football highlights. I don't care that yeah. they just kissed right now. You know, <laughs> I get that. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh my so, gosh, she's drinking a beer. Like I don't care. Mm-hmm. Of course, you know, she, you know, she's human. <laughs> it, it, I feel it's kind of the same way. It just gives them more publicity. Yeah. Like I remember, was I talking with you or Myra? We we're talking about Deadpool. Oh, okay. Deadpool recently, just like oh my god, everybody knows it Deadpool. Up, yeah. The new movie Beetlejuice. Everyone now is like, oh my god, mm, Beetlejuice, yeah. Beetlejuice. You know, they, don't thir- don't say the third one. <laughs> but everyone's so like, oh, my God, I love Beetlejuice yeah, now yeah. and oh, yeah. blah, blah. I get that. It is great because it becomes, at the same um, time, it won't let it? that die. It's yeah, not going to yeah. let it like what's Beetlejuice? Like, who it becomes has, mainstream. It, but that's yeah. the sad part about yeah, it. Yeah. Where like, yes, it brings more fans, but it just now everyone. It kind of kills like the like the the originality you know yeah yeah like if you know a specific it's like knowing a specific little mama papa restaurant and mm-hmm. you're like oh my god like i know this one spot and then everybody goes there and it kind of ruins it even when someone posts a certain spot like yeah. on tiktok they're like no why'd you post this was this was our like yeah. place to go to and now oh my god it's an hour to get in oh, or yeah. boom like, like it blows up and then becomes a chain and like they don't make the food the same anymore mm-hmm yeah I, yeah I see what it, you mean yeah it has its goods and it has its bad yeah you know i mean i mean good for them because like obviously like they expand and yeah. makes them well, more that's known go, going back to the whole chiefs thing it's gonna get more fans into the chiefs yeah but not the not the good type of fans though yeah they're gonna be it brings in the haters. well that's why they're gonna be well that and they're gonna be wearing chiefs and if someone goes up to them hey what's their qb what's their whatever like yeah, line yeah. Uh, Name a certain player, yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. it is. Where are they even from? They're gonna be like, I don't know. Like you know, it's just like yeah, yeah. Go- you, you're just wearing it because because so-and-so. of Taylor Swift. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which I I I mean, yeah, we get it to an extent, but yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It has its goods and it has its yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about obviously how like when they blow up, the quality goes down. Mm-hmm. Chipotle. Did you ever have it before it became a thing? Yeah, yeah. The bowls were like filled up to the top. Oh. And they were big, huh? Yeah. And now, like all of a sudden, like their meats are measured. The spoon is not even like full. I wouldn't serve you anymore. Nah. And that's the thing. Before, I feel it was I. Everything was like super, like just like screw it kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. And now it's like no, like have a just one spoon of each yeah. or whatever it is. Because like so many people talked about it, and there's so many people lined up that they got to save the meat for everyone. Well, even at that, I'm sure the company even sees it where it's like. Oh, the sl- supply and demand. You yeah. know, we have a bigger demand. Yeah. So screw it. The they're, slap- they're willing to pay. Yeah. For the same same thing, but less. Yeah. You know, just because it, it got it went viral or whatever. No, yeah. But you know which one never changed? Mr. You. Mr. You. Yes. 
is, bro. Mr. Mr. Yu is. Cheers to that. Cheers. I guys, hope ooh. Mr. Yu stays like that. Same. It is so delicious. If I'm you guys get live, Mr. Yu after this. If you guys live in the IE, mm-hmm. you guys probably know Mr. about Mr. Yu because so up good. here. And that first one that every uh, obviously like that started out was the one in Pomona. Yeah, right off the sixty. No, the ten or ten, ten in the on Indian, Indian Hill. Hill. Yes, yep. that that machine made it right blow across up. norms. Yes, dude. I'm oh, going and, I, and they're like pushing like the plate to close. Like damn. Yes, and, and that's what I love because <laughs> oh, yeah. one, it's not like it's bad food. No, and it's really it's good too. Really good, and oh my god, they just stuff it. Yes, you know, yeah, and that's what blew it up. Where it's like you want. To get a good amount of food, uh-huh. go to Mr. Yu. Yeah, so like the bang for your buck, Mr. Yu. And that's mm-hmm. what she probably should take notes from Mr. Right? Yu. I feel a lot of places need to take like notes of that. Did you ever feel growing up certain things got smaller? Yes. Like the Snickers bar got smaller. Oh, yeah. Or did, yeah. Well, the, the Hot Cheeto bags, too. Mm-hmm. Have they shrunk. Seen? Well, before they were a dollar. Yeah. And then they became like $2.50 or more. Yeah. But the portion size got smaller. Even like the but, Cheeto dust became less. You know well, what I mean? Yeah. And but that's the thing. Like you open up a bag and you're like, why is it only like a quarter filled to the yeah, very bottom? It, like you it's mostly mean? air. Yeah. Like, why am I what buying the air? Fuck, dude? <laughs> <laughs> that just makes no sense. No, yeah, before I used to go to seven eleven and mm-hmm. open the bag and then put uh put the hot dog cheese in it. Yup. Ooh, right there on that corner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right there across Dude, the best. Dude, yeah. I remember I would skate because I would skate from Palomares and we'll stop at the 7 Eleven. We'll get like a hot dog, do oh, like the cheese and we'll, chili we'll on top. Pound hot dog and then the chips. And we'll like open it, boom, yeah, put, put the, the cheese yeah. in. Like, oh mm-hmm. my God. The best. Hot cheese and so cheese. Sheesh. Yeah. Damn. Dude, that was that was way back. Yeah, way back. And now like it became like a thing where like, people put cheese nowadays, but like I remember like that, like that's been a thing for me you know yeah well from 7-eleven if you yeah. ever that was like just a thing putting cheese on top of cheese. It, yeah yeah yes, yeah yeah but th- th- going back that i just feel that where people lost the the whole quantity and quality kind of thing you yeah. know where they stop caring about how much you get because they know you're gonna get it yeah as a place yeah. or product became more popular the the quality definitely went down mm-hmm it and, sucks though. And I feel like as you get them popular, like I feel like you have to even up the quality. You know what I mean? To well, satisfy, he, but but like no, but even at that, keep your quality. What you're doing, or just is, keep it the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you're doing, it's obviously great. Yeah, yeah don't break it down or like don't give them less. You know, but like, because they, that's what made it popular in the first place. You know? Yeah. Like the like the 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 exaggerated amount or the super good quality. Yeah. Because I'll tell you this, I I used to work. Well, I'm sure the same thing to you. We used to work at food oh, yeah, restaurants. Yeah, yeah. Well, or my, mine was a snack bar kind of thing. But yeah, the movies. Yeah. And I remember they were like, oh, we need to bring up the prices of the churros or bring up the prices of the nachos, bring up the prices of the yeah. bur- all that. And it was just like, yeah, for me, I was like, I don't get it. Like, look, someone could just come into the movie theater and bring out outside food super easily. Yeah. So the fact that you're here, like, why bump up the prices, making them in the future be like, oh, food. why get it from the snack bar? We could get it from outside. Yeah. You know? So they had that advantage of people already being in the movie theater mm-hmm. where they're like, I don't want to leave. And it's the like, only it snack my, bar there. Everyone is already set up in the car. Chairs are out. They're ready for the movie. Let me go just to the snack bar make it easier for them instead of harder yeah. you know and that's what they did and what happened movie theater closed down <laughs> oh yeah why well, we see it now like it's pure like uh a pure warehouse yeah they're getting ready for warehouses yeah. bro. that's oh it, the warehouse is already up no but they're getting ready though like oh, okay. it's like the whole block the is pure warehouses yeah, yeah. Um, that crazy. sucks yeah because i mean cause that's our childhood right there because i remember yeah. like we used to go to the to the outdoor swami there a lot mm-hmm. same my parents yeah and that was just like a little spot to just go and chill on the weekend mm-hmm. type of thing. Yeah. Because we just walking be, around, buying random little things. We used to buy our socks from there. Same. Yeah. The, like the three for 15. Like mm-hmm. three. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like, how'd you remember the price, bro? I don't know. I remember doing that. And <laughs> like shell or socks. <laughs> dude, buying like pro club. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. I know pro club is a thing nowadays, but dude, pro club is so old. Pro club, Shaka, 
Back Triple in the day. A too. Triple A. Yeah. Yep. That was back in the day. Yeah. I remember pulling up to the swap meets. That's why I would get my sh- shirts, my socks, boxers, uh, all yeah. that. It was, <laughs> you know. I mean, the socks were like super cheap, but like mm-hmm. after they're, a couple of weeks, were ripped. stinky. But <laughs> <laughs> stinky. But it was just like screw it. You but know, they're cheap. Yeah. yeah. We'll get some more. They're yeah. super cheap. So speaking about, you know, obviously back in the day, mm-hmm. I know back in the day, um, you used to rock colored contacts a lot. And a nope. lot of people have been asking. Nope. 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 I where, did. where did he get your That's contacts from? <laughs> <laughs> well, not people, but uh, no, I specifically yes. Myra. I <laughs> Myra, and I swear every time I go on TikTok Live, they bring it up. So oh, no way. It's definitely a thing. But I want to know, how bad do you want to know? I want to know for them. How bad do you want to <laughs> oh, know? <shit>. Oh, <laughs> nah. Get that away from me. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay. Look. I don't even remember. Or like what, what made got you me start rocking them? Yeah. That's like, why. I don't even remember what got me into it. Uh, maybe your brother? No. I feel, like, I feel like he would start rocking them before you or no? No. No? I don't okay. even think my brother ever wore contacts. No. I feel like, like he, he. Maybe he, visual contacts. He gives me the I know vibe he that he would rock the white ones. I don't know why. My brother? Yeah. I don't no. know why. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Like, like yeah, the all white ones? I get you yeah. to look all crazy. Right? Yeah. But no, he didn't. Okay. But I don't even remember what made me do it. But I remember just, just the fact that, okay, contacts, one, I, I feel nowadays there is very different you to don't find see contacts. Them. Only like you only see them when it's Halloween time. Yes. Yeah. And I remember either ice cream trucks or just like your oh, local little you know, liquor. I remember ice cream have shops used to have everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was your... Like, go to spot. He was like, your ice cream connect mm-hmm. plus everything else connect. Fireworks. He yeah. got it all. Yeah. For real. <laughs> DVDs. Burnt DVDs. DVD, yeah. <laughs> Burnt CDs. Whatever yeah. you want. I feel the got. ice cream truck would just be like, all right, little kid, what you looking for? Like, you know, like. <laughs> you you want the squeeze pop? <laughs> it was like Friday. Yeah. With freaking, uh, what's his name? With Ice Cube? No, I know. But what was the ice cream man's name? Oh, um, I forgot. Oh, my God. How do I forget this? Oh my god, I I'm completely blind right for it. Yes, but either way, yeah. So contacts were just like kind of everywhere. It was a thing back in the day, huh? I guess. <laughs> yeah, remember even going to school, like people had contacts. That punk rock kid or that rocker used to have contacts, yeah. like like the snake ones or the yes. or the all black ones. Or, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's th- I mean, that's maybe just I don't know. Maybe got me into it where I was like, oh, I'm gonna try them out. That's or whatever. Dope, so yeah. I I remember there was this little liquor store. And they had contacts. I would always go there for like a Dr. Pepper and like chips. And, yeah, yeah. You know, just like little quick snacks. Essentials. Mm-hmm. So I remember seeing them. And when you're paying at the cashier, they have like that little glass box. Oh, and it yeah, shows yeah. the contacts. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'll try them out. You know, just like see whatever. I'm feeling blue today. <sighs> hey, bro. <laughs> yeah. 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 I went with blue for some freaking reason. But blue weren't the only ones. I, ha- I had blue. I had gray. I had like, dude, had I was just like, I'm palette. just going to like, you know, I might as well. Yeah. I, I felt like I showed up and I was like, I just want to one see of each. one of each type of thing. <laughs> yeah. And they had crazy weird ones, but I'm like, let me just go a little, a little norm and yeah. just go with blue and gray. And yeah, yeah. I don't know what else. I think I, I even got like an all black one where it makes it like your pupils yeah, yeah, yeah. like the bigger. Yeah, all big. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I went with that. I tried them on, and I'm guessing I was, like, feeling freaking confident and show up with Myra with them. <laughs> and till this day, it's just never been dropped. <laughs> it was just, like, Yeah, I feel like thing. for sure it was, like, a skater thing because I, I saw no, see that skater kid no. wearing contacts. I don't uh, know why. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I don't think so. No? I think it was just a... Uh, it was you thing. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it was just me. I don't know. I I wish I could answer that was you. Back in the day, I wish I could have noted it day, down. Like, rock some today, crazy I wouldn't shit. wear contacts because. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I didn't. And that's the thing. I I, I just felt contacts were everywhere. Where you just well, at least I saw it, and I was like, I'm gonna try it out because the same thing. How we were saying, ice cream trucks. They were your plug. Yeah. No. Yeah. And. It's cause back in the day it was different, you know. Like people used to rock like the super spiky hair, like the the big ones. I had liberty too. spikes. I had liberty the big spikes. spikes too, not yeah. just like the regular ones. That's why right, liberty yeah. spikes. I had liberty spikes. Huge, yeah, that's yeah. crazy. When I was in my like punk era, I was like in sixth grade. 
I, yeah. I had like Liberty Spikes, like nice. yeah, like the pants, like halfway your ass and shit. Oh. You know, like the <laughs> oh, that was like bagging. That was no, yeah, like back then yeah. style was crazy. Nowadays, like you get judged a lot. I feel like I I don't remember exactly what made me do it, but it was just that you just did it. Yeah, I just saw the contacts and and what's funny, people were even telling me, oh, wear them again oh, just yeah? for like a TikTok. Oh, or, you know what? You should bring them back for Halloween. Hey, I'm down yeah. <laughs> because it's a costume kind uh, of thing. Yeah. Well, soon because what is it? The eleventh, like eleventh, the tenth, tenth. Yeah. We're so we probably got tenth. like two more episodes, mm -hmm. and then we start the Halloween, Halloween. episodes. Yeah. Ooh, are y'all excited yeah. for that? If anyone, I don't know, probably like two or three people are still watching by now. Yeah. But <laughs> Halloween is coming up. Yeah. If you guys have any suggestions for us, I got a couple. Let us know in the comments. I mean, we have a couple for sure. Yeah. But if you have like any other like, ones that, that we haven't you guys might want to see. That would be dope. Let yeah, us know in the comment section, y'all. Just the full on, yeah. we both wear contacts. We're down to do one for like uh, bright blue contacts. Yes. <laughs> Damn, I've never Glowing. actually like ever worn contacts before. Ah, dude. Yes, yeah, so I want to. I'll tell you this. Up. I remember wearing them, and oh my god, I'm not sure if it was just the fact that they're from like a random ice cream truck or a liquor store that they hurt so bad. I'm sure. No, yeah. <laughs> My eyes were like red. I'm sure because I had um like actual contacts because I wore mm. glasses, and I, they're I had the one a day once and and they used to hurt. So yeah. I could imagine buying them for fucking the liquor store. <laughs> <laughs> they're so bad, terrible. Yeah, it, I'm telling you, my eyes were like burning red, and I was like, <laughs> "Why am I doing this?" <laughs> it makes sense now. I don't know. It was just one of those things where it's like the same way how you get into like a certain. Like, if you get into rock or you get into hip-hop, yeah. so you start dressing a certain way. So it was just like, maybe I'm going to see how contacts are with me. And definitely, they just were not it. <laughs> you know? And, yeah. I, I, dude, I remember how you were saying, spiky hair. I did Liberty Spikes. I did regular spiky hair. Mm -hmm. It was just... And it was that hard, where, like, like Gorilla just, Glue. Like, like, they were stiff. Mm -hmm. They were really yeah, stiff. Yeah. yeah. I remember Gorilla Glue. Gorilla Glue. It was like the thing to do because yeah. that was the only gel that would that like stiff be hair. strong enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's like that got to be. The got to be glue. Yeah. yeah. But there was so many different eras. I feel if I could go back, there were so many different eras of myself. Like just even at that, because I feel I'm into so many different music and music alone gets you into so many different like yeah. eras oh, and yeah. genres, yeah. you know? Uh, yeah, or, like dressing style and yeah I, I listened to rock i remember i was like full on hash like i was saying earlier like monkeys to go i'd get like stud belts mm, and like yeah. all dressing all black yeah, you know yeah. being to like ramon sex pistols anti-flag yeah. all that yeah, type yeah. of stuff and then boom getting to hip-hop and i'm not talking about like eminem or no yeah jay-z like or the underground i was like mm, underground like yeah. a, uh rhyme asylum jedi mind tricks yeah, yeah. like all underground hip-hop where i started doing like super like baggy clothes 501s like that's when my pro club era you know yeah. and i don't know just so many different eras <laughs> <laughs> did you ever feel like you had an era like that or this has just always been you no uh i mean i definitely had that era where i used to wear like those type of pants like the baggy pants with like Remember? the with the tit with mm -hmm. the tic tac or whatever you call it the the, the yeah. pins in the back with the stuffed shoes the fat laces okay talking about our eras back, back in the day, day and all that. Yeah. Did he ever do something like, uh, like for that era, something really big? Oh, okay. I guess you could say like for myself. Yeah. When I was like really into rock or something like stretching my ears. Oh, okay. Oh, you stretch like, your ears. Yeah. I had my ears. Can't tell. I know. Well, now I could literally put like a toothpick in it. They'll never close. Oh, shit. I could okay. put it like a toothpick in it. What's the biggest he went? Double zero. Double zero. Yeah. So pretty you, big. Yeah. Uh, it's like pretty big. I don't know, okay. like half an inch or so ish around there. Um, honestly, like no, like I never like really went to that like extreme, extent, like extreme to be like dedicated to like stretch out my ears or wear blue contacts. Did you have mm. a specific like crazy hairstyle or anything? Mm, just spiky, just okay. like just everywhere spiky. Oh okay, yeah. Okay. I feel like that was just a thing. I think. But see, yeah. even at that, like I had spiky hair. But since I was getting to like punk music and all that, uh, okay. I had like Liberty Spikes. Oh, okay, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I used to like that type of music, but I never really dressed mm -hmm. to show it. That like, oh, I like punk, you know, or I like yeah. rock, shit like that. Yeah, I felt like when I was in a specific era, I like 
not full force, but like I'll get into that. Yeah, era, like you, you know, like, actually, like I said, like, I, I stretch my ears, and then what's crazy? I had my tongue pierced too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I never had so, anything pierced. No, never. No. Nothing. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. See. Well, I, I and I get that. Like yeah. you know, not a lot of people do, but yeah, dude. Oh yeah. My brother, him, he had his back neck pierced. Oh shit. He had the like under little lip. Oh, pierced. Damn. he had. Uh, he had the little uh hit. His dimple was pierced here or what? No. <laughs> <laughs> but he had a Prince Albert. Okay. He told me. You know what a Prince Albert is? <laughs> what is that? Um, the tip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's how yeah. you gotta say. That is painful, I'm that sure. That sounds painful because mm-hmm. I'm insensitive right there. Yep. Fuck. <laughs> I wouldn't. I would I just would not. How the fuck do you just pull it out? Like, here, pierce my, you know? Well, he at the same time, <laughs> he's a tattoo artist. So he sees... Everything yeah, and anything okay. type of thing. Yeah. You know, when the when someone's like, yo, I need my butt pierced or I mean not pierced, but <laughs> yeah. he's, I got like, you. All okay, right. Yeah. You're just gonna have to pay I, double. Like I you know, guy, like yeah. I'm not gonna just do that for a regular yeah. price, you know? So I I feel he has like so many tattoos and piercings and oh everything. he does, yeah. He's covered in tattoos, huh? Yeah. yeah. But for myself, I, I just had my ears and my tongue. Okay. And that was it. And my belly. That was, that was it. Your belly? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, You're yeah. like, what? Man? Nah, no. Nah. Just tongue in. Uh, what about yeah. your, uh, your eyebrows? Your eyebrow? No. No? No. I know a lot of people did this little, uh, just like the little corner. People also did like the like the in-between. Oh, my like brother your, did that oh, too. Oh, he did? Okay. Yeah. And I don't know. He had so many. I know I people would do like, like all around their ear too. Hmm? Not just one spot, but like. Everywhere, yeah, like Even the like cross the bar part. and all that, yeah. yeah, like the little cartilage. Mm-hmm. It was a lot, yeah, yeah. But dude, I I feel like I said, I feel when I was in a specific little area, like that's why even going in. back, like my whole punk era, I was like stud belts, like ring belts, okay. like full on like hash, like always wearing black. Yeah, yeah. Just never. Uh, and during that time, that's when I was like not going to school. I was just skating. Yeah, straight up just. Punk. I guess the most you could say, I used to wear basketball shorts in the bottom, but I feel like everyone did that shit. Same. Yeah. Because I felt like you just never know when yeah. the homies are going to want to play no, ball. For, I mean. Well, that's funny because for us, like, we used to always, like, rock them under because, like, every time after school, we'd hit up your local, like, elementary school, you know, jump mm-hmm. the gate, this right. ball up right here, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It was like I that. remember, well, after high school, we were, like, right there on Kingsley, that oh, little okay. basketball court. Yeah, we'll yeah. play there for a little oh, minute. Okay. That show's tight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We or always, Shark Park. Oh, Shark Park. I remember Shark Park. Yeah. yeah. We used to always go to some school named Addison. Addison? At, Addison. Yeah. It's At, kind of like it, between uh, my friends' houses. Is it that one right it's by hidden. the freeway? No. Oh, okay, It's more no, like okay. like in the neighborhood uh, type oh, of school. okay. Got you. Yeah. All right. So we always ball there and stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's funny, bro. Well... But besides that, yeah, I never really did any like any of that crazy shit, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're crazy, dude. Yeah. No, and yeah. that's the funny thing where I was like, I felt like I got licked into so many different areas. Oh, yeah. But I never went like full on force into like a one type of area. Mm, okay, you know? yeah, yeah. I felt like I was always so like into different areas. Like even everywhere. Music wise, like I I listen to everything. Yeah, no, yeah. I see what you yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know. But yeah, we're here now. I don't know. Yeah. And now we're here. <laughs> yeah. Growing up with kids. Right. Well, once again, man, congrats <laughs> oh, to you thank guys you. and little thank baby you. girl. Episode six, down. Episode six, and yeah. and and many more to come. Yeah. But you guys, yeah, don't uh, leave us your suggestions for like any Halloween costumes. We'll for mm-hmm. sure try out like uh like uh like one of your like theirs. I think we're pretty cool. Yeah. It, it, yeah. I was gonna say we like, have our ideas, but I like I'm down to do one of their ideas. Yeah. Because especially right now, since it's like probably two or three weeks before. We actually film for the Halloween, mm-hmm. like to start getting certain costumes in. Yeah, so yeah, it'll be a perfect time for this episode. Yeah, we, yeah and and we also have plans to deck out our like. Oh yeah, we want to bring some stuff in thing. for Halloween yeah, for sure. So yeah, all right. Well, let us know. We'll check out those comments mm-hmm. and thank you whichever favorite one that we like. We'll be like, mm-hmm. all right, let's do that. <laughs> yes, but thank you guys once again for watching the Kingdom. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed and watched the whole thing. If not. Whoever's here you by tried. now. <laughs> well, that's all. Whoever's here by now. Yeah. That one or two person. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Thank and you guys very much. Until next time, y'all. Mm-hmm. Deuces. Peace.